Hey there guys, so welcome back to going over my old builds. Um, we left off with the Zero Mansion, we are on the double stack. Uh, I'm gonna have to go um, <laughs> give my sims more money again. Um, but this one, I mean I can see why it has no downloads, like this is what it looks like. This one I remember seeing a um, thing on Pinterest for like it was supposed to be like two houses stacked on each other kind of thing so I went for it and clearly um, I did the lot wrong because this is just <laughs> all right so she's placed we mother loaded their money I wish we could do that in real life I'd love fifty thousand dollars just to drop down on me um, so this is the double stack I think I probably built it on the lot the wrong way because this is supposed to be like out by the road and uh, this side not. So clearly I did it wrong at some point. <laughs> but here we go. Now we'll take a look at here. So upstairs has looks into the pool and it has a kids room and a master room with a porch out here. And then kitchen, living area, study, laundry area, bathroom, and like a little bar. So here we go. All right, so we're out here on like the patio area. There's a hot tub, um, grill thing, nice light. Um, I do like the this underneath I wonder I can't change the lighting okay um there's clearly an oopsie back there man I really need to pay more attention before I upload anything I hated how the door didn't match like what was I thinking I don't know I like this big open space but like this is too open and why is it carpet what was I thinking I don't know but, like, I do like the setup of the kitchen, of, like, the bar there. There should be, like, a dining table or something here. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I like that because it kind of looks out on everything. That's nice. This is a nice area. Um, the decoration in here sucks. So, that should have happened. How do you get into the bathroom? What the heck? Is it through here? I'm guessing. I love how I just don't know what my builds consist of anymore. <laughs> Ooh, I do like this study. This is like a nice study. I'm down for that. I like that. Good job, me. Oh, I like that. Laundry room and like some storage. Wow, clearly I didn't know. Didn't use move objects at all. And then the bathroom. That is just... Yep, okay. I do like this area though, because it's almost like a storage room outside of the bathroom, and I love how I made it walk through it to get into the bathroom. Like, oof, yes, love, love it. What does seem odd to me is that these stairs are on the outside, but I'm assuming it probably is would be like a tropical house. You wouldn't use this house <laughs> in a place that it was like cold in the winter because look there's my people I just threw in here to do this um that would get cold having to come outside and go up to your bedroom I'd probably just sleep on the couch <laughs> all right so we've come up the steps and there's this nice glass door I do like that door there that's pretty cool and then it's like a little walkway and like if there was some nicer stuff on these walls this would actually look awesome like you can look down into the pool like, I absolutely love that, honestly. Not gonna lie. It kind of doesn't make... It definitely has to be tropical, because, like, look, there's no wall there. <laughs> um, but, like, I love looking down at... What is... What is... Okay. I don't know. I do like that, how you can look down on that. And that just is weird there. That sh There should be, like, sitting there or something. Oh, and it's a kid's room. Um, once again, I still have no idea how to manage a child's room 
This one's, I think, a lot better than what I had been doing. I'm feeling like I almost made this for, like, a few people living, just, like, as, like, adults or young adults, and then made it into a kid's room instead, because, like, here we go with the bathtub. <laughs> My bathroom. Which is actually kind of nice to have, like, your kids have their own bathroom, I feel, in some situations. We'll go back out here, and we'll go this way, and why can't you reach the porch from here? It must be a master bedroom thing. Ooh, I do like that, though. Like, this, like, sitting area with the red. I like that. That that was a good choice. And then bed over here, and the wardrobe, which is kind of awkwardly there. Oh, is it, like, one of these, like, you have to pass find it? Yep. I still should have enclosed that. I think that would have looked nicer if it wasn't closed. I do like that. It's very simple. There should be, like, plants around the wall or something there. But, because I don't do enough wall decorations, apparently. Whoopsies. Anyway, we're going to go out here onto the porch. This is also very bare. I should have put more up here. And maybe, like, another door. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Not the worst house we've seen so far. So the next one is Stone Grove. Um, oh, I just realized you can see when you put these up. Wow, that's it's been a while. Almost a year and a half-ish? I don't know, I can't count. All right, let's put this one down. Clearly also didn't have this facing the right way, but um, shit happens. I already love this outside. Um, for me building, the outside of this this looks amazing honestly these I think should have been dark but like I get it because it goes with like the white that's <laughs> that's cute it's like someone just built on a shed <laughs> it doesn't really fit but it kind of does top floor we've got a bedroom a, like a teen bedroom bedroom oh like a sitting area that's kind of neat goes down to there bedroom for two people and then a master bath with the master bedroom. Okay. And then, oh, I remember doing this kitchen. Yes, I loved this kitchen. You got another bedroom down here. Uh, just bath down here. Laundry area. I kind of like that laundry nook. Kitchen, entryway, living and dining. And a study. I must have added the study later on or something, but I mean, it fits. Okay, let's get into this one. In we go. I don't like zooming out too far because it like warps it, but that's kind of nice coming in there. I think I I did pretty good on that entryway. Those are nice. Little TV in the kitchen. That's cool, especially since there's a separation. Oh, I remember building this kitchen. I, I loved it so much at the time. I feel like I could do more with it, but like at the same time, that's a nice kitchen. Very uncluttered, kind of organized. I feel like there's not enough stuff on the counters though, but, oh, there's some stuff over there. That looks pretty good. Uh, don't mind those kind of floating, but okay. <laughs> the stairs go up that way. All right, so we'll turn and look in this area. I like this little nook. Living space, dining space. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. All right, now on to the study. Or office or whatever you'd like to call it. Ooh, there's an art easel back there. Art stuff. I like the mail on the counter. I wish there was some art on the walls. But. That's kind of nice. Not too bad of a space. So now we're back by the entryway. I feel like this was a bad place for this door for this bedroom, but it's where it's going to be, apparently. I like this kind of like almost futuristic feel with that, the bed and the lights right there and turn around and I feel like the uh, painting should have matched the bureau a little more. I think that would have looked really cool, but um, yeah kind of nice. All right, we'll go behind this little nook here. I still love this little section. So cute. And look at 
Oh, it's getting a little better with the wall decorations in this one, I think. Still could have used move objects more. But then you can like kind of look upstairs. Still has a lot of the tie-in of the bricks and stuff. And you'll come over here and it's the bathroom. A small little bathroom. Not bad. We like it. Alright, so we're upstairs. I feel like there should be a railing right there because that's a little like, let's just jump out of our door. <laughs> um, there's kind of an odd little space there, which is, oh, okay. We'll go over here in this little sitting area. I like how there's like a second little living room and it's up here. Like, I like that. I, I don't really like the rock, but everything else I think looks really good. Like, I'm happy with that. And we'll come this way. Peek in here a little bit. In the teenage room. And... Oh, I was like, that's a weird entryway. It's not. It's a uh, mirror. Desks. Obviously one is more purpley and blue. And the other is <laughs> very pink. I feel like that shouldn't be there. I feel like that should be something different. Whoa, warping. A wardrobe and a bureau for them. I like that. I'm guessing this was also one of the built for a specific family. And then we'll come over here. A potted plant there. And the master. I don't really know what that was all about, but okay. I feel like just an ottoman would have been better. Alright, so then we're back over in the corner. And you kind of go around this little, like, walk area. I kind of like it. Wish there was more wall art. I feel like that's a theme now. <laughs> Into the bathroom. I feel like that should have matched that. Not gonna lie. But otherwise, not a bad bathroom. Kind of cute. So moving on to our next one. This was actually a renovation I did of the Rindle Rose in, uh, is it Willow Creek? Anyway. <laughs> Um, this is a renovation, so we'll pop that in and, uh, see how this one looks. Alright. It's got a cute little walkway up to the porch. Nice little porch. I like the brick and the siding. That's kind of nice. And then we'll do... It's just a little... A little two bedroom or like a kid and a couple maybe with a laundry nook again and a bathroom and it's a really big open area there is a lot of pink <laughs> i guess i really was going for the rose all right so coming up to the porch from the walkway see it has a little grill out here and a little table that way and bench over here can kind of peek in the window but there's curtains so that's easily solvable i feel like this should have been a brown to match the brick but okay slide on in and we'll look at i was gonna say are those two different colors but i think it's just the lighting <laughs> this <laughs> oh my god the pink is excessive oh my goodness um, I like it, but I feel like it was just a little too much. I went a little overboard. Um, so everything's pink. There's no decorations on the counters, which is kind of sad. I wish I had done that. Pink table and chairs, and I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be another chair. Okay. Anyway, we'll move on to this living space. And I kind of like that. It's kind of cute. Very simple. I like how there's the separation with, like, the flooring of this is very much the living space. And we've got the fireplace there with the desk area and kind of a little bookshelf. I feel like there should be something under the window that feels very bare. But not a bad little area. Open space. Pretty good use of the space. And we'll peek in this way. Oops. Here is our laundry nook. Looks cute. We'll go in the bedroom first. This is the kids' bedroom or 
I don't know, maybe it's a young adult or even an adult that's living with other people. <laughs> I won't judge. I don't care. <laughs> and then we'll get another look. It's a very small room, so, like, obviously not a lot of lies in here. Wow, I don't know what words are. But I feel like it's a pretty good use of the space. Probably if the bed wasn't there or even shifted at the end of the bed, something else could go there. And then we're over in the bathroom. I love the rock in the bottom. That is actually really nice. I think that could have been good in, like, the river stone one or whatever it was. Um, I can't remember what I called it now. Um, in part one, we looked at one, it was River Rock or whatever. And I feel like that could have been very useful in that one. But I do like this bath. I like how the pink is more subtle, but it's still there. Like, it's in the decorations and in, like, the shower and that. And not just overwhelming the room like the kitchen was. And here's the big bedroom or master bed. <laughs> the neon just... <laughs> I don't even know. Something with that neon just got me. <laughs> Let me guess, is there more? Oh, no, I thought there was going to be more neon. My choice of wall decorations is kind of pitiful, I'd say. But there is the wardrobe. I was going to call it a clothes box. There's the clothes box, guys. All right, so there was that one. I did really like the garden because I'm not a very good landscaper. So the fact that I kind of made it look decent what's pretty good for me not gonna lie all right so this is gonna be our next one i this one was also a renovation of the streamlit single i wasn't gonna make it this big but it kind of just turned out that way and obviously there's a i was testing out the glass ceiling so uh this one's kind of let's just get into it all right so here we are with the little wood cabin um i I like the skylight, but I feel like it's also kind of awkward now that I'm looking at it now, but I mean, it's it's something different. You know, you don't really get a whole lot of that. I do like the, the chimney. That's cute. So the bedroom is obviously upstairs. It's I think it's supposed to be kind of like a little loft in a cabin. And then here's the downstairs with like the... I love the use of the... I think I had, must have just gotten the outdoor pack, whatever it's called. What is it called? I don't remember. I like the plaid in there. I'm guessing that's the bathroom, but I can't see it with this tree here. There we go. But I do like the use of wood and how it's very much a log cabin kind of feel. All right, so here's the entrance with the porch. It's got a little wooden bench. I love this um, door, that looks cool. Then you come in and I love that little feel, like the very log cabin-y feel of the little <laughs> dining room with the uh, fireplace and then the wooden counters that kind of wrap around. Ooh, I love it. I love this one a lot. And the little the stove and this area. I love this area. Like, it's so cute. I love this one. We'll pop in here. It's just a basic bathroom. Not a whole lot of space. Just enough for the essentials and some hearts. <laughs> Alright, so we're upstairs, and I put a tarp down as a rug. Okay. Uh, we have a bed, wooden bed, and you can see our uh, skylight right there, which I like. It gives a lot of light in here. But the bed and all the wooden stuff and a guitar and a wooden desk and chair. and I really went for a kind of a log feel on this one, and I kind of like it. It looks, I feel like it looks pretty good. I mean, that was kind of all to it because, you know, there's not a lot there. I do like the little path there. I was getting better at landscaping. Okay, so this one will be the last one on this lot. Um, the other ones that I have are beach ones, so I'm going to move over to the island to do those there. So this was one that I was doing with a playthrough for myself. Um, I didn't have it on like filming or anything but it was essentially rags to riches and I wanted to see where I could get and um like it says it started from a trailer to a large family home and so I wanted to keep it because like this was such an amazing little house that I popped it up on the gallery and does it have any like I guess it has a couple downloads so I mean 
Alright, so here it is. It was originally in Brindleton Bay on one of the lots. So, I absolutely love this because I got to, like, kind of build it as it went along. And there's, like, an awkward weight thing there. But, you know, that's where I had the place to put it <laughs> at the time. So, it is two stories. Um, I had a ton of kids in here at one point. So, like, some of the rooms are kind of bare because there was no one living in at the time. But this is the master bedroom with master bath and a closet a hallway had a lot more stuff in it at a time another bathroom with three bedrooms there used to be a fourth and it was actually this area but i was like okay kids can sleep in the same bed in the same room so like <laughs> this became a porch and there's a little porch off of this one the master We'll go down here, and here is the dining and kitchen with a little thing of it. Why are those different colors? Anyway, inconsistencies in my buildings. And it used to be just like this, and a little bit of this was the entire house, and it's obviously come a long way. So the hallway, there's like, it's kind of a study area. At one point, I think I had another desk over here. But that kind of has changed. And then the living area over here. Um, this changed a lot because as people would grow up and such, I would change like the decorations and everything. So it's gone through a lot of different things. But here we go. So I, I wasn't actually going to have a gate on this house when I first created it because I was going to just like have the house but one of my sims became famous and people started coming to the house and at one point they came in the house um so that was kind of weird and i couldn't get the person out i would ask them to leave and i don't know if the game glitched or what but like they wouldn't leave so that's why there's a fence and then i had to lock the door from then on uh but yeah so we've got some fire pit and stuff and stuff for the kids and a nice little pool area i loved this area with like the outdoor dining table and the little bar here with the stereo because it made kind of a nice entertainment area and then in the kitchen um i think yeah i definitely have done more with this than i thought oh well, i thought i did more than i did so those yellow ones are supposed to be outside with the bar table, but uh, clearly they're not. So this is kind of just like the dining area. I wanted like a little sitting area there because it felt bland and I felt like I needed this little nook because I liked it and also the, it didn't work for like another deck kind of thing. So we'll go through this little entryway into the hallway and we'll turn here go into the bathroom so the shower it's just a basic little bathroom there should be a mirror in there don't know why there isn't i did have a laundry room oh, at one point and um it used to be right there but they kept having issues with the laundry in my gameplay and so I said, nope, not doing this. Yeah, there should be a lot more in this. What happened? Like, there was some decorations and stuff on that, but okay. The laundry just, they were having issues. It was breaking. They were constantly cleaning up after it, so I just got rid of the laundry room. So that's why that uh, study area is so big. The stairs up there and this little sitting area. I, I don't know why the a lot of the decorations are missing i must have like removed everything for them to move and then changed it so yeah we'll go back in all right so coming up the stairs here we uh came into this bare hallway that shouldn't be bare but you know yeah so we'll go into this bedroom here and there's a tree coming through it <laughs> So here's one bedroom. I won't stay too long on these because clearly something has different. And then we'll go into this one. This one kind of curves around a little bit like that. So it gets a little nook kind of for the clothes. 
I did this one more recently, so that's why I know like there's stuff missing. And there's this bedroom. This was the nursery for a long time. Um, what I did essentially is I got Island Living and I wanted to do more with that, so I moved everybody out. And moved some of the old family members back in that I had kicked out. So here is our little area here. Bathroom. And apparently when I kicked everybody out, I took all the nice stuff with me and left just bare bones. So here is the master. The wardrobe there goes out onto the deck and there's a guitar and you can look out and then we'll go into the bathroom and we'll look at the bathroom quickly it's also nothing on the walls <laughs> at this point do we expect anything less there's not even a light in here what the heck oh it's right there okay never mind I don't even know so that's that one. We are going to move over to the beach and go back. All right, so here we are with the beach retreat. Um, this one was me testing out the things from the island living pack. So it pretty much is as much island living as I could get into one house. Um, it's kind of more like a vacation spot than a house. Um, if we come here, there's a little living area with a TV some shelving you come in and not really much of a dining area in here but there's a bathroom the kitchen and then just kind of like another entryway because it goes out three ways you go out this way you kind of go down this path and dining room and then this way is the master bedroom and I feel like this is awkward but like it was just a row of nothing, so it kind of popped in. That's supposed to be like the master. And if you go this way, there's some towels and a couple bed spaces. So it's almost more of like a vacation home than anything, really. Um, uh, outside, obviously, we have some tables that don't have chairs. Odd. And then if we go over here, there's the bonfire, some more chairs and a hot tub and a trash can. So not like super thrilling. We'll come inside. When we come inside, there's these shelves. Kind of add some storage to the place and a little potted plant. Some more shelves and counters and a little indoor eating area. I feel like almost a bar would have been better, but you know, I was using what Island Living had. <laughs> I pretty much went through and everything I could use Island Living for, I did, and then I went back and filled in other things. So, then this little spot for some TV in case you can't enjoy the amazing views you have out your bedrooms, you know, but. <laughs> and I don't have a light in here? Okay, and no mirror either. So weird. We'll go this way first. Like, how could you be watching TV when you got like this and look like you could see, look down and see the fishies? Hello, fishies. And so then you come this way, and it's just a little, and like it has a roof and nice little area. And I think there's a mod that you can actually like place like these like rock things, and it makes fish. So that would be kind of cool to put in, like the water. Uh, so maybe at some point we will jump on that. We're just gonna go through the wall because it's a window and we're not gonna go all the way around. <laughs> Lazy way out. And so there's the fish tank. And obviously there's, it's just like a ton of windows. So I don't even know why there's a door, but yep. I mean, I guess I could have put a curtain there or something and nicely decorated. A lot of chests. Oh, sorry. Huh. And so we have the arches here. I love these little arches. And just kind of relaxing space. And some fun uh, floaties out in the ocean, even though they probably just float away in the ocean. <laughs> um, 
and the ladder to get down in. So coming into the bedroom, you get like this like kind of division. And so it goes off this side, has two twin beds, kind of cubbied near each other in this awkward like shaped space. It was kind of hard to put a lot of stuff in, but then I got the double bed over here and it's got its own bureau and a little sitting spot near the nice window. So let me know if you guys would retreat to this one, if this was a option that you could actually retreat to in real life or not, or if you'd be like, mm, nah. So this is for the same kind of family, um, that family that the other one was, like the one built from a trailer, I decided to move them into this beach house and I designed it. I think I took some of the design off Pinterest again. Um, I looked at some beach houses, but I did a lot of work on this one. It took me like three or four days to finish. And there's something floating above this palm tree here. <laughs> okay. This is what it looks like kind of on the outside. I put some trash bins over here, kind of hidden. Um, there is a lot of like open looking space obviously there's like the deck over here and actually a pool and a hot tub and just a lot of relaxation space and I was really loving this like I feel like this is almost like crazy overdone <laughs> in some aspects so there is a this is kind of almost like a garage ish type thing it has just like a sitting area over here when you come up the stairs and then a bathroom and a sauna that also goes out to this little deck everything this is just a covered roof this looks down that's on the first floor but then we have two bedrooms here a closet for that's supposed to I guess go with both of these bathroom for both of them that also looks down below this I think is the stairs yes a little seating and like a kids room We'll go down, and then the kitchen, like the entryway, the bathroom, I think that's the master bathroom, but anyone can enter. There's just a sink and toilet bath, half bath that's called. And then the dining and the living, I did keep those chairs, I kept some aspects like the outdoor dining table here, with some grills and some counters, and uh, bar here. This is the main master bedroom. Uh, study. A, like, screened in porch is supposed to be what it is like. Art stuff. The pool. Over here is a music area and a weight room, like an indoor gym with another bath. And then this goes up the stairs. So let's get into this one. So this is by far my most recent build, and I can I confidently feel like I've come a long way from like the first one we looked into to this one, uh, because clearly there is some change, and I kind of got better at decorating. I mean, even just doing the renovations, I feel like I've gotten better as well. So there's a little bit of sitting here over this way with some plants. Um, but then I put the mailbox on the deck because I kind of like that. And we'll enter in the doors. And kind of some coat racks and stuff. And it looks up above. I feel like this is a little bland, but I didn't want to overdo it. We got some shoe racks behind the stairs. I actually loved that idea. Um, I felt like that was really kind of cute. I'll go in here to the main area. I, I go back and forth between really loving open floor plans and then being like, okay, I have to make awkward kind of areas for people to get into and try and work around it. Because, you know, not all houses are open area or flow really well. So I do like to challenge myself sometimes with that. We got a fridge over here with the cooler thing. Um, that little... Some of those I clearly... Did not shift right and we can just ignore that hopefully 
And then like over here at this side of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, look at those spice boxes. <clears throat> I think we got some aliens in here. Um, but this is the kitchen. I kind of like it. I mean, I like it a lot more than most of the things I've done. Still really need to work on the walls. Um, I think I was trying to, because some of them are painters. I think I was going for like painting my own things and covering the walls. So that kind of makes sense. Um, then we'll come here and obviously I brought over the chairs because um, I wanted a lot of like the other ones feel in this house as well. So we've got the sitting area. I think they have a dog. I think. Or a cat. Apparently we got a cat too. So there's some stuff out here for the animals. And the screened in porch. <laughs> We'll come back into the house before we go back out further. Go in here and it's the study. I love how the, it's making like the patterns. Just sitting area and bookshelf. I feel like that should be more shelves and less open. And there's just a book sitting on the floor. That's cool. So we're back out here by the entryway. And we're going to pop in, I think it's, this is the little bathroom. Nope, this is the master bedroom, so we're gonna just look at this. Um, we got a counter here with the mirror, some drink stuff, little table with some stuff on it. I love this. I think I kind of cried when I did this because I thought it was so cute. Like the wardrobe there with the sitting and the um, mirror. And then we got the stuff in the corner here and like flowers and everything and you come around and there's the bed. And I just, I don't know, I'm in love with this. Um, I like how it kind of just separates everything from each other. Um, as well as making like a cute little area. So then this goes into the master bath. And we've got some a lot of shelving and all that good stuff. And the lovely um, jacuzzi because you can't have a beach house without those. <laughs> and we have the shower there. I don't really like the rug and I feel like this tile is kind of awkward. But I did want it to be very like low light in here so you can see like the candles is the light and there's a few things on the wall in the mirror but that's kind of it and there's a hamburger there <laughs> what even okay i really need to like clean up my houses before i post them apparently we'll pop out here and this must be the little bathroom yeah it's just a toilet and a sink and i probably should have put some wall art but yep we'll We've just accepted that I'm terrible at wall art at this point. So this is one part of this house I actually really, really love. Is like you got the grill with the stuff right there. One thing about that though is they tend to just stuff it in their pockets and run away. <laughs> when cooking. But, you know, it happens. So, and then we go through this way and there's a little ottoman... We're not looking out at the front of the house, and clearly at this point we're in the water. Um, but then there's some more counters over here. And then this is kind of the entertainment. There's the bar, there's a little table with some stuff, some art. And then the hot tub. We'll go around the hot tub. Some towels, another ottoman, some yoga mats. Things to look down. I, I don't like how that's not spaced very well. That it, it makes the foundation kind of wonky. And it goes right off into the ocean. And then here's the pool. I like the plants kind of growing off the edge. I like that. I feel like it's kind of very islandy. That was weird. And we'll go in here. The stairs go upstairs. Um, and there's like a little sitting area underneath the stairs. I feel like it's a little bland under there, but not much we can do. We'll go through this door. And it's like the exercise room. I think I tried to put the yoga mats in here, but there wasn't enough space. So I moved them elsewhere. The wall decor is kind of odd, but 
not going to question it. Come into the music room, and it's kind of just supposed to be like fun, and there's a thing to record with the nice brick backdrop, and a music studio. And then the bathroom down here is kind of nice. Could use a little... Does it have a mirror? It doesn't have a mirror. Apparently I don't like mirrors in my houses now. But it's very golden themed. Very cute. I do like this one a lot. Even though it's very simplistic, it's nice. Okay, so now we're upstairs. This is kind of like this, the sitting area here. I didn't really know what to do with this space. So it came in like a little sitting area. Uh, we'll go in here. This, I think, is the bathroom. Yep. Oh, look! Another wall. So there's a shower on one side, toilet on one side, and some sinks. Could use some lighting. Some mirrors. Some wallpaper. I don't know. I give up. <laughs> so come out here. I love this area. Like, the plants here. Gorgeous. Love it. Love this kind of garden you feel without a garden. And then it has some towels. Some more plants. In here is the sauna. It's just the sauna. Got some windows, but other than that, it's just the sauna. And then the pool with the floaty. Alright, so I crossed over into the main house and I went up the stairs and like there's a little seat here and a plate. <sighs> yep, I'm yep. And another little seat and some chests and it looks down onto like the living space so you can be like hi mom how's it going down there and we'll come in here i think this is the bathroom yep this is a bathroom uh once again no mirror what is life i don't know uh, shower toilet to the side of the bathroom is this closet area i did like this because i thought it was kind of neat like and then having like the area that you can look behind. I thought that was, I hadn't really seen a lot of like, well I, I haven't done a whole lot of walk-in closets myself besides like the big wardrobes. So I thought this was kind of cool to do. I feel like it added a little, it was kind of interesting. Go in this bedroom here. This one once again is like one of the houses I built for people specifically. So like, the room has a specific feel because of the person living in it. Like there's a bunch of books. So clearly a reader and like pink, lots of pink. They've got their own balcony out here to look out to the water. I thought I fixed the glitches, but apparently I did not. And you can actually come out over to the balcony and you can go into the other bedroom. Which is very blue what the heck blue and red so i do like this it has a very narrow like walkway what the heck is going on narrow walkway and then the bed's there um you could probably shift around the bed if you wanted so you could use both sides i don't know if they can get in both sides with it there but it could be shifted and we'll come back out onto the landing here and i think it's just the kids bedroom the kids bedroom and I like the little bunnies I kind of made them hopping around and I don't know that flower in the corner just looks so weird it was cute seeing until that flower but and then this is just the kids bedroom so yeah that was all I got um, for builds on the gallery until I do more renos and stuff so I hope you have enjoyed this video let me know about the builds. Let me know if you want to see me build anything in the future. If you want me to renovate any of these with my taste now, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Bye, guys.